I want to be remembered as the world's oldest living artist, Bill. I want to be remembered as people think, fuck, is he still here? Um, I don't know what I want to be remembered as. At 69, there's more behind me than ahead of me. I try to live in the instant. I'm not always good at it. I'm sometimes too sentimental and get back into the past and too much of a dreamer into the future. I try to live in the time. I, 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 I think I've never been dead, but I assume it's not quite as interesting as being alive. So it's not to be wasted. Well, here's the thing I would change. When I was about 12 and we lived in the Blue Mountains very briefly, my mother, who was a good pianist, asked me whether I'd like to have piano lessons. And I said, no, I wish I'd have said yes. I really wish I'd have said yes, because I love music. And I love the fact that musicians interact with one another, um, play other people's music. It's a totally different exercise to painters. Painters are much more monastic experience. But so that's the interesting thing about art, you see. It's a journey. No one's setting the problem for you. You're setting the problem for yourself. In fact, I don't have to do anything else. I mean, I could just, you know, sit around playing, you know, mediocre golf and, and, and traveling. But you want to not lose the absolute passion and drive of wanting to be in the studio working. Art's only a journey. You know, you're just, you're another artist on a particular road, little bits of sidetracks that other people have been up. You, you don't learn it on your own. You only learn essentially from looking at other people's work and hopefully finding your own track. World's oldest artist, that's why I want to be remembered as. <laughs>